Hello everyone, Leaf Kicker here. The video update made possible by my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to know more about what we do here in the studio, be sure to check the links in the description below. We're going to have a look at the silver egg here and catch everybody up where we're at with the Ratchet Bomb uh, prototype rebuild. The silver egg will hold 100 double sleeve cards and we'll be able to make this in all kinds of colors. I started off with just doing a Silver Queen version. Uh, she's one of the more popular EDH commanders and we have some other color options that we'll show you. The lid is held on by some strong neodymium magnets and underneath the lid some storage for some dice. And there's This is an example of just 100 single sleeves so if you're a single sleever there's plenty of room for more tokens and stuff inside. Putting the lid on is color coded. It does go on one way so you want to match up that and put the lid on. Those yellow dots there. If you turn it upside down and shake it hard enough, you are going to pop it, uh, pop the lid off. If that is a concern for you, we can upgrade the magnets to the next size up. I'll offer these standard uh, with these smaller magnets because I think it's uh, good enough as is, but we try to build to our customer's specifications if it's possible, so we can do something like that. It will make the lid harder to take off as well, uh, the stronger the magnet you go. Here's an example of a blue Simic version. With some gray armor and uh, some green flesh. You can check out my Etsy store if you'd like to order one of these. There'll be links in the description. This is an example of a hundred double sleeve cards. With the sliver prototype made and the mold created, we will be moving on to our next uh, project, which is going to be remaking this ratchet bomb. This is the original version I'm holding here. Uh, we had some issues when making castings uh, because the spikes would rip the mold and it, we weren't able to get a lot of castings for each mold, so we had to come up with a different way to do that. So rather than having the spikes uh, cast as a single piece on the body, we're going to add the spikes after this piece is made here. And I have to put little nubs that will glue these spikes onto. So we'll still have the same ratchet bomb look, but it's going to give us more castings for each mold. I also increased the inside, so it's going to hold 100 double sleeve cards a lot more comfortably than it was before. I'll be working on this piece for the rest of the year. If I can get this out before Christmas, I, I most certainly will. That's my goal, is to have it ready by November. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Coming up. After that, it's a question for my Patreon supporters. Guys, what do you think? Uh, there's going to be a poll over on the page, so let me know. Should we start working on the Necronomicon, the TARDIS, uh, finishing up the new Mana Vault, or something else? Uh, the Necronomicon needs a new prototype made. This one will hold 100 double sleeve cards, or two decks of 100 double sleeve cards. TARDIS also needs another prototype made. This will hold 100 double C cards. Plus there's room in the top for some dice storage. Now this Mana Vault's a very rough uh, concept piece. This is just wood and some clay. It'll hold 100 double C cards. Uh, this also gives some people an idea of kind of what the build process is. Kind of start off with some clay and whatever else I can think of that I need to use to build a box and go at it until eventually we have a nice finished piece like this. If you got another idea for a box we can make, I would sure love to hear it. Let me know in the comments below. I wanted to close out this video by giving a shout out to my team over on Patreon who make these videos possible. For just a dollar a month, you could be entered into a little giveaway that we do to give away a box or a small set of Catan. For this video, we're going to be doing two giveaways. The first one's going to be Tony Lee. Tony, let me know which one of these items you like to have. The Skull and the TARDIS are the only ones that I have on hand. The molds of both of those are gone. But any of the boxes in the back, I can make you one in your own color that you like. And we can also do a set of Catan. And the other winner for this go-around is going to be Doug Dakin. Thank you everyone for helping make these possible. Uh, we couldn't do it without you.